state in rural Louisiana to improve roads and other needed infrastructure. Our political correspondent Liam Combs tells us where this money's coming from and how it's being spent. Hi, Liam. Hey, Liz, the DOTD just announced its new Louisiana Rural Infrastructure Accelerator Program, or LARIA. The first round of funding is going toward a railroad project in the city of Broussard. It's going to bring jobs. I mean, as we attract these new businesses to Broussard and as the current um, manufacturers expand, jobs come along with that, and that's been Broussard's key to success for a long time. This time around, it's a new railroad track that would allow companies to move their goods by train rather than truck. The idea is that this new track, or rail spur, would decrease the burden of transportation costs on the manufacturing industry in Broussard. It's going to allow the companies there to use the rail system as transportation for their goods. So it helps us attract new industrial customers, uh, businesses to Broussard, but it also helps support the current businesses that, that are there because they have new options in transportation. The price tag? $825,000 out of the Laria program's current $2 million in federal grants. Today marks an important milestone in the expansion. Governor Jeff Landry's deputy chief of staff says he's looking to build off of this first project with things like road, water, and sewage improvements all around the state. It's an effort to draw in new wealth. And so we've got to upgrade that infrastructure. If you're going to bring in more manufacturing jobs or opportunities, you've got to have a larger capacity for supplying water uh, to those, um, those businesses. Mayor Bork told me he is hoping to get both the planning and construction of this new rail spur completed in no more than three years. Liz. Okay, Liam, thank you. Well, millions remain without power and tornadoes have left homes and shops destroyed.